A tan soldier walked up to the blue leader, Don Ye. They appeared to exchange words, and then the tan soldier shot Don Ye, killing him dead. Shouts could be heard as the gunshot rang out. Blue soldiers ran to see what was the matter. There were two bodies there, Don Ye and the tan soldier who had turned his weapon on himself. The general's been assassinated, a blue soldier called out. Back at the Tan Command Center, General McLear was reviewing potential battle strategies. The newly acquired Green Base would make a wonderful outpost from which to send new troops out for harassment missions. Hunter walked up to General McLear. Sir, a situation has developed. Well, whatever it is, Hunter, we can deal with it. The, uh, the Blues have declared war on us, sir. Oh. Well, that is a situation. Why would they do this? I would never think the Blues would join the Greens and Reds. I mean, they're pacifists, for goodness sake. The only reason they fought against the Greys with us in the Great War was because they had no choice. Well, sir, apparently we assassinated their leader? Don Ye? I never sent anyone to kill him. It was a tan soldier from the reports I was given. Eyewitnesses confirmed it. Jeez. And now they must think it was us. What's their current position? They don't have many soldiers, General, but once they mobilize, we will be in a world of hurt, especially knowing the tactics they use. Our nations have the same number of people, but they have the greatest tacticians in the kingdom. Them, plus the green and red forces, will surely tear us apart. Sir, that's the good news. They haven't joined the red-green alliance. They're keeping their war separate from theirs. That is good. That means they won't work together. First things first, we must send word to their acting leader that we aren't the ones who did this. That will be a problem. Their new leader is Commander Barr. He is known for being peaceful, but his mentor was Don Ye. He is furious and has sent troops to the tank repair center. Shoot, that's across from the Blue Islands. They will surely make it there before we can sort all this out. Do you think we'll be able to send reinforcements to our men there? No sir, we took too many losses taking the Greens forward operating base. Not to mention Tony was injured when a Green bunker was knocked over by our tanks. All right, then. We are simply going to have to hope for the best for our men there. We will sort this out after the battle. Maybe they will all have clearer minds then, and they'll listen. Sir, what if they don't come to their senses and we're forced to fight three enemies at once? Two versus one was bad enough. I agree, soldier. Perhaps we need to look into an old enemy for assistance. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, back with another Army Men Civil War video. Uh, I'm going to be doing two of these this week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday, just because people are demanding it so much right now, and it is a new series, so I thought I might as well provide the content. Either way, as you could probably tell from that intro, uh, the Blues over here have declared war on the Tans due to a, uh, a misunderstanding of uh, an assassination against the Blue leader, Don Ye. Um, really, really bad news for the Tans, and they are going to have to figure out some sort of an ally in the next video, um, so expect that sort of plot line pretty soon. Uh, either way, for this, they have their uh, tank repair facility here, which has been artillery striked um, by the Blues because they wanted to soften up the defenses. Um, pretty smart strategy by the Blues. And uh, they successfully knocked down a few parts of the walls, a few areas where tanks were being repaired, like this one. Uh, and they did a, a pretty good number on the facility here, knocking out a few defensive points for the Tans, uh, which is not great. Um, and that is the reason for all of the broken up walls and things like that. But the Tans uh, relentlessly rebuilt um, some areas of contention where they could fight. They also um, managed to repair two of their tanks in this facility at... Uh, before the battle began, and they have one light tank, a Stuart over here, and an M24 Chaffee over here. These two Shermans are uh, broken beyond uh, being able to be used in battle just yet. They hadn't finished repairing it in time for this uh, this blue invasion force here. Uh, the blues are equipped with uh, three Sherman tanks across the map and a bunch of infantry ready to roll. Uh, the... Um, the Blues have completely surrounded the compound. Of course, this compound is very, very valuable because um, this is where the Tans repair most of their tanks. I mean, they probably have more tank repair facilities, but this is the closest one to the Blue Border, so they won't have to worry about uh, tanks coming back to haunt them later on uh, as the invasion continues. If it continues, we will see about that as well. Um, so really smart play by the Blues here, and completely surrounding the factory is smart as well. 
attacking from multiple angles is always a good choice. Uh, so without further ado, we'll start the battle. I want to quickly go into slow-mo when we start, uh, just to stop units from, uh, from sprinting forward as they do in this mod. Um, mainly because it's really stupid when they do that. Um, we've seen it multiple times before. Yeah, see over here? These guys are doing it. They just sprint forward and they go into the facility, uh, basically like on a suicide mission, and they end up all basically dying. Uh, so if we just slow them down a smidge, hopefully I get all of them, then, uh, then that won't happen as much. Okay, and it looks like the action has started here. The, uh, the Tans spraying their weapons, defending. Let's, let's stay in slow-mo for a little bit, because I have a feeling a lot will be happening in a short period of time. So we see that the Tans are managing to defend a little bit here, firing their guns at the, at the blue attackers. The blues are spreading out, their Shermans are moving forward. Um, they've got a few bazooka men at their ready, uh, so that they can take out the, uh, the tanks within this compound. The Tans also have a few bazooka men. Oh, these guys continue to sprint forward. Um, whoops, I guess I, uh, I might have missed a few. That's my bad, guys. <laughs> well, these guys are getting, uh, shot down a bit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> um, so those guys obviously didn't make it. Uh, the Tans are, are coming under, under some heavy fire. Oh, this guy's sprinting forward, too. It's okay if a few guys do it, I guess, because it won't hurt the, the blues too much. Oh, these guys are doing it too, dang it. it looks like this area over here has been blasted apart, uh, most likely from the blue tank over here and the M24 Chaffee within the compound. Um, that's likely what happened, why those walls were just torn apart. A few more blue soldiers trying to enter the compound over here and getting shot to bits. Um, this is going to be really tough, a three versus one war as, uh, as the tan slowly lose ground on the blue side, and I'm sure the greens and the reds will attack soon. It's just no good. They're going to need to find an ally, and I think we alluded to that a bit in the intro to this video, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, blue soldiers are starting to hang back a little bit more and provide cover fire for the tanks that seem to be advancing at a pretty steady pace. Hopefully they knock down these walls so that the, the tans have less cover um, so the blue army can get in a bit more. And this tank is doing just that. Ooh, and it gets hit! by a rocket in slow motion there. That was pretty cool. Uh, and it is also getting hit by the different tanks around. It just struck this Stuart head on. Um, not sure if it's dead or not. It's definitely tracked, although I doubt it was going anywhere. Um, these dudes stu still firing away. Why are these guys just walking forward like that? We'll just get them to stop doing that. Um, this tank is just going all, all at it. It is not slowing down. Although it did just get hit in the engine by a bazooka, so that will slow it down, and the crew's going to bail out of that one. Uh, this tank over here, it seems like it has died by some sort of a bazooka shot. No bueno for them. Oh my god, huge chunk of this wall coming out. These pieces might kill those Tan soldiers. Nope, didn't quite manage to. Good for the Tans. Um, and now the blue infantry seems to be getting into a full-out skirmish with the Tan infantry. Shots are being fired by both sides in epic slow-mo fashion. Well done, good sirs. Well done. We see a few bazooka shots actually being fired over those blue soldiers' heads into the uh, into the tans over here. Alright, why don't we go into regular motion now? And uh, let's check out what the blues have going. They've still got plenty of soldiers all around uh, ready to fire, although they have lost their three tanks uh, to tan bazookas slash tan uh, tank fire. Um, but they've still got a very good shot at winning this uh, this battle. They just need to uh, kill the rest of the Tan Infantry. And a bazooka shot just killed like five or six of them in here. They just destroyed a tank that was already broken. So there's that. Um, this steward is surprisingly still alive. We can see its machine gun is firing away at the Blues. And uh, this M24 Jaffe is also alive. So the Blues really need to take care of those uh, before they proceed forward. Or else they're going to lose a lot of troops to them. Um, yeah, blue soldiers seem to just be chilling uh, on this side. They, they don't really have an angle um, all that well. They're wiping out most of the guys on the right flank. That's probably pretty smart of them to destroy one flank entirely and then move in on that area. Tan soldiers seem to be concentrated mainly in the middle now as the outskirts uh, defensives have fallen. 
Uh, we see a little bit of uh, inner city fighting over here. Uh, blue soldiers running from cover to cover in these different buildings and firing through. Um, not a bad strategy. Guerrilla warfare is always a, um, a good plan, I mean, honestly. Most wars that have uh, some sort of guerrilla fighting in it, uh, the guerrillas do extremely well. The Revolutionary War, Vietnam, it, it's just proven time and time again. Alright, and these blue soldiers are starting to get into the compound and starting to uh, fire and kill some of these tan soldiers over here. Uh, the tan soldiers seem to be in a bit of a last stand. They're completely surrounded by blues. Oh my god, that bazooka man just killed so many men right there. The tans are starting to panic, starting to lose their cover and have to run around each way, um, firing as they go, trying desperately to keep up their fire against, uh, against the blues. Many of them getting chopped down, but they're also killing some blue soldiers. Another bazooka goes off in here, absolutely decimating these soldiers. Still got a lot of dudes over here on this side. It seems like the the blues over here haven't managed to uh, to fight as well as their allies over here, and they haven't taken out these guys nearly as well. A couple of guys over here using these barrels and these tanks as cover. Not a bad strat. Yeah, pretty much the tans. Most of their cover has been completely destroyed, and they're having to um, to run around trying to find new cover. I don't know what that blue soldier was doing. That was idiotic of him. Uh, but these tans are still firing away. Oof! Guy got killed right while he was reloading. This is really a desperate last-ditch scenario here. In terms of the storyline, I guess we can only hope that the uh, the tans sort things out with the blues relatively quickly and manage to convince them that they did not order the assassination of Don Ye. Um, because they cannot afford to have a three versus one scenario. It seems to be just this M24 Chaffee doing a last stand over here. It just got hit by a bazooka. It seems to have silenced the gun. I wonder if it's still alive, though. Its engine is completely shot through. Oh, its main gun in the front is still firing. It just got hit by two more bazooka shots. I wonder. The crew is bailing out and being butchered as they do. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. And the Blues have won this battle, taking the tank repair center from the Tans, although they're probably not going to be able to salvage any of it, um, simply because they blew it to high heck um, while fighting in this battle. I suppose they probably thought we didn't need it or something like that, but uh, either way, they're not getting that bad. Bad boy operational again for a very long time. And the Tans have lost it. Um, we'll see what happens on Thursday with the next video. Hopefully I manage to get one out on Thursday. Um, yeah. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to check me out on other places, I have an Instagram, a Discord server, an Overtone team. Uh, check out the links in the description below. You should definitely join the Overtone one because we don't have a ton of members there. Um, and also follow me on Instagram and stuff like that if you would like. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.